Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about the incredi- incredibly political film, the An American Pickle by Seth Rogen. Uh, warning, there are massive spoilers for American Pickle in this uh, in this content. Okay, so um, Seth Rogen, I'm not sure if you know who Seth Rogen is, so I'll say I'll explain who Seth Rogen is. Seth Rogen is an American comedian and an American movie star. Uh, he was in the movie Superbad. I think there's like at least three Oscars for the... Be- the The movie Superbad was a Judd Apatow like comedy. It's turned out to be like an American anchor for uh, for American celebrity quality. In you know, um, and there are at least three people from Superbad that now have Oscars. Uh, Jonah Hill. Uh, a few other people in there. It, it's pretty incredible. Um, so Seth Rogen's a really interesting guy. Uh, he's very funny. Uh, he's had uh, a he's had a pretty successful career in Hollywood. Um, why is that? Well, he's incredibly smart. He's very funny. Uh, and also, I don't know if you're paying attention to this, but boy, oh boy, in America, if you know how to make a movie cheaply that has some good laughs, that has a consistent story. And uh, and makes people think you can do well. You really can do well. Uh, oh, and that that costs dirt. That costs very low money. Uh, Seth Rogen movies work, I think, because they don't cost a lot of money, right? I think a lot of other people are like, oh, I need 120 million dollars to put some dragons on the screen. Seth Rogen's like, I don't need no 120 million. Like, just you know, give me 40, 60. We'll get this done. And a lot of people are gonna watch it. And a lot of people are gonna laugh. And a lot of people are gonna have a good time. And there's going to be a story that they can remember. And he really delivers. Um, I, by the way, I think that's the exact same uh, way that Adam Sandler has created his movies. Uh, is They make his movies pretty cheaply. And they make money. People go, they laugh, they have a good time. Um, and Seth Rogen is the same way. So An American Pickle is a really, really fascinating movie that has a lot to say about American politics. And specifically how red and blue treat each other. Now, this movie veils that in in its story. So the story of this film is very, very straightforward. And, uh, you know, a little... It's campy. It's kind of a ridiculous concept. But it carries... But once you get in and you accept the premise, it's got a lot to say about American politics and how Americans treat each other, okay? So here's what happens. Um, We meet Herschel Greenbaum, and he is a, a Jew from Schlupsk, which is a fake European nation. I think they were kind of like maybe pointing at, uh, you know, I'm not going to say it, uh, but like kind of like um, EU, uh, okay, uh, yeah, Eastern, Eastern European nation, right? So Herschel Greenbaum um, blues out of this horrible dirt country, right, uh, to America. And, and America is just a million times better. And he goes with his wife. And uh, they have a baby. Okay. Well, Herschel gets a job in an American pickling fact in, in, Ameri- in an American pickle factory. And uh, he his job is to run around and club rats with a big club uh, in the pickle factory. Right. So uh, he's doing his job. And he sees... Oh, and he's up in the rafters clubbing rats. And suddenly... He is, uh, he takes a joker plunge into a vat of pickle brine. He is brined in the pickle juice for a hundred years and then he comes out. So he comes, he goes in in 1920 and then he comes out in 2020, right? And so now you have a man who's been displaced in time in t- for a hundred years, okay? So you have a 1920s Eastern European man, uh, who then meets his only living relative, who is Ben Greenbaum. Ben Greenbaum is a vegan, uh, a vegan app app developer who lives in Brooklyn, right? Of course, right? And they could not be more different. So, uh, and and of course, these two people are are both played by Seth Rogen, okay? Now, Ben Greenbaum, 2020 Ben Greenbaum, the vegan app developer who lives in Brooklyn is super woke and is the biggest social justice warrior you've ever seen. He is vegan. 
Um, he buys everything he buys. He makes sure that it's from ethical companies, right? And he's just like, and he is appropriate on heritage. The way he talks about people who have other heritage is spot on and no prejudice, okay? The way he talks about people of opposite genders is super woke, right? He, he thinks that all genders should do the same jobs and make the same pay, right? And that there's no difference between men and women when it comes to labor, okay? Uh, orientation. He accepts all orientations, not just straight, right? And he celebrates all orientations, not just straight, all uh, not abominable, or all orientations that the wide culture, uh, I guess, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, it's hard to say this. The, the one that the Catholic Church had problems with. That That is not like... Oh, you can't see. You can't. Uh, man. Um, there's just no way to say it. Uh, okay. All the rainbow orientations. He celebrates. Okay? All right. So he's got it right when it goes for heritage. He's got it right when it goes for, for gender. He's got it right when it goes for orientation. Right? He celebrates all people. Right? Okay. So there you go. It, it's set in place. Herschel Greenbaum, this guy from the 1920s, he is very prejudiced toward Cossacks. That's like, I don't even know what a Cossack is, but he hates them. He hates these people. And he says that they're filthy and he doesn't like them and he wants revenge against them, right? So Herschel Greenbaum is prejudiced toward toward one specific heritage, right? Herschel Greenbaum believes that uh, is not gender woke. He believes that women should do some work and men should do other work. And that if you get, if you hire a man or a woman, you should hire a man more because he's going to do more work. That's what Herschel Greenbaum believes, right? Then when it comes to orientation, Herschel only celebrates one orientation straight. He does not celebrate any other orientations beyond that, okay? Now, this is where it gets pretty incredible, okay? Because Seth Rogen, I think it would be very hard to say Seth Rogen is anything but woke AF, right? That dude is as woke as it gets, right? He concatenates four, two, and zero, right? He he is just like, he ha he fully signs on to the Hollywood playbook. Uh, he is just wokeity woke, 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 right? But this movie posited that someone who is prejudiced against a specific heritage prejudice again against genders beyond their own prejudice toward orientations beyond their own could have a heart of gold and could be an incredibly hard worker who could achieve a lot in America and could create jobs for other people in America and could be very likable as a person that is shocking that is an incredibly shocking message that is coming out of Hollywood. This is a Hollywood movie. American Pickle is a Hollywood movie. So what the heck? How do we? How have we landed where we see a Hollywood movie that says if you don't embrace all heritages, if you don't embrace, if you don't embrace, all, if you don't treat all genders equally, and if you don't, if you don't accept all orientations, you could still be a person, a good person with a heart of gold that people like. And I was like, what? That is the message of this film. Now. Why does this film matter? Well, it, it goes gets down to Trumps and, and it gets down to Trump followers and it gets down to leftists and progressives and liberals, right? They hate each other now. They are constantly pointing at each other on Twitter and saying, you are an inhuman monster, right? And this movie comes along and says, oh, no, no. You can have terrible views on heritage, terrible views on gender, and terrible views on orientation and still be an incredibly valuable human being who has a heart of gold and is generally a good person and people like them. I'm like, wow, that is absolutely shocking. I really have never seen any film like this from Hollywood. And I will tell you right now, I think the only way that Seth Rogen is getting away with this right now is one, this is not in theaters. It's not getting a theater release. Two, it's on HBO Max. Nobody has HBO Max. Like, I got it for free, and that's the only reason I was able to watch this movie, but this movie is super good. It is an incredibly good movie because it's so incredibly different. It's not like anything being put out in Hollywood today. Uh, it's de it is my favorite pick. It is my pick for movie of 2020. 
um, because it's so shockingly different than any Hollywood picture that is coming out today. It is also by far the finest film in Seth Rogen's uh, milieu, right? And the reality is, it gives me hope that, because here is Seth Rogen. If Seth Rogen's voting for Trump or Biden, you know he's going to be voting for Biden. So here's somebody on the left saying, when I look over on the right and I see people who don't have respect for other people's heritage, people who don't have respect for uh, equality among genders, people who don't have respect for orientation, I can acknowledge that they are still good people, that they still have a heart of gold, and that they still have humanity. That's an incredible statement. That is an absolutely incredible statement. I'm not sure I would be willing to say any or any of that, right? Because... That's, that's hard, right? To me, if you are prejudiced, if you do not believe in equality, you know, in uh, equality across all genders, if you, have re- if you have incredibly repugnant opinions on orientation, that can be, re- it's hard for me to say that that kind of person is, has a heart of gold and can be a good person and can produce jobs for others and be productive and be part of the American, the American milieu. It's incredibly hard, right? And I'm just incredibly impressed that Seth Rogen could get there before a lot of people, right? And I'm, I'm curious how he came to have this peace in his heart and to dismiss the absolute raging animosity that is now growing between reds and blues. This is a fascinating film. You should absolutely check it out. It's got a deep, deep message. Really, uh, check this thing out. See what you think. I have never seen a film like this. It really is brilliant. Uh, that, that is my opinion. Have you seen this film? Um, if you have, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider uh, liking and subscribing. If you haven't seen this film, what's your favorite Seth Rogen film? <laughs> I know it ain't Pineapple Express. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.